Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti, and I'm the Narc's nemesis. For those of y'all watching me on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that helps YouTube's algorithm pick up this content and push it out to others that need it. Somebody liked it for you, so make sure you like it for somebody. Uh, if you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is in the description. If you want to donate to the channel, the link is also in the description. Uh, make sure y'all go check out my new single, Superstition. It's available here on the channel and it's also available on all streaming platforms. Um, the lyric video is also available on this channel. And I'm sorry, the performance video is available on this channel. The lyrics are on Genius.com. Um, it's about my narcissistic experience and overcoming it and triumphing over the experience and it also features a voicemail of my ex narc trying to hoover me and i ain't going for it um today i want to talk to y'all about the need to confront the narcissist uh, <clears throat> i seen a comment the other day and it was saying what if you want to confront them and tell them about their selves and let them know that you know um, they're a narcissist. And my question is to you, why? What would you get from that that you haven't got already? Because we live under the assumption that they don't know what a lot of them a lot of them might not know they're a narcissist but guess what they know they ain't worth a damn they know they mistreated you they know they lie they know they cheat some of them will even tell you this oh well i'm not you know i'm not a good person or why would somebody like you want to be with somebody like me um they know and I think I've done a video about this, but I can't remember because it's been some time ago. And it's easier for our pride and our ego to believe that they don't know what they're doing. It's easier to digest when we say, oh, well, they didn't know that they were manipulating me. They didn't know they were mistreating me. They didn't know they were gaslighting me. They didn't know they were putting me down. They didn't know that they were tearing down my self-esteem. See, it's easy to process that through your ego. It's easy to digest that when you're dealing with your emotions because, oh, well, if they don't know, you know, it doesn't make it as bad. Or I didn't really get taken advantage of because they didn't know what they were doing. Or I really didn't get gaslit because they didn't know what they were doing. I didn't get played because they didn't know what they were doing. It's easy for the ego to digest that. So we come up with this notion that they couldn't have knew what they were doing because I don't want to feel like they knew what they were doing and they still did it. That's ego. So the need to want to con confront them after you found out, after you discarded them, after they discarded you, after you found out they cheated, lied, whatever the case is. Throughout the relationship, you have brought your feelings to the table several times. You have brought your complaints to the table several times. You have brought your grievances to the table several times. You've brought your perspective to the table several times. Each time you have gotten a more exaggerated version of the same thing. Same response, same lack of accountability, same lack of empathy, same lack of perspective, same lack of judgment. Keyword lack. The response has always been underwhelming, unsatisfying.
it has been malicious to your emotions and your feelings and to your perspective and point of point of view. Stuttering because chewing is gum. But you've gotten the same result. And each time you bring your feelings to the table, it actually gets worse because you get a more diluted answer than last time. The same shit, same pattern, same response. You feel the same after every conversation, empty and misunderstood, minimized, emasculated. And you've been going through this for years, months, days, weeks, whatever. And they've been constantly showing you a consistency of inconsistency. So by you all of a sudden wanting to confront them after you've gained all of this knowledge, after you've gained this perspective, after you've gained clarity, If they have not taken accountability, which is one of the first steps to change, if not the first step to change, changing behavior. If they have not changed, why would you expect their response to change? This is your ego driving you these are your emotions driving you and i'm not saying none of this is not valid but you have to recognize when it's not worth arguing anymore when it's not worth trying to prove your point to someone anymore because i'm gonna ask you <clears throat> you know there are narcissists right or you found out this information, be it from me or anybody else, you know what a narcissist is. You know they don't change. You know you have to run for your life. You know you can't have them in your life to be healthy. So by you having this understanding that they can no longer be in your life, and that they will no longer be in your life. And that they are <clears throat> a destruction to your well-being. <clears throat> Shit. If you know they're a hindrance to your future and your progression. If you know <clears throat> you got to get away from them. Why are you explaining your future to your past? I'm going to say that again. Why are you explaining your future to your past? Because they, they're not going with you. At least they're not supposed to. I don't know if you made that decision yourself or not. They're not going to the next step with you. They're not going to that next chapter. They're not going on the next mission with you. So why are you briefing them? Why are you explaining to them about things that you know you're finna have to heal from when they're not trying to help you heal from those things? Because they're not. The thing is letting go of the fantasy because <clears throat> some of these fantasies lasted longer than others. Some of these fantasies lasted for weeks. Some of these fantasies lasted for months. Some of them lasted for years and some decades. But the thing is, they all must come to an end. 
And the thing about it is you're either going to end it on your terms, which is the best, or God is going to end it on his terms. Because I'm going to tell you, he's not going to ask you, are you ready? He's not going to ask you, are you emotionally stable enough to deal with the aftermath? He's not going to ask you. Can you let go, please? When he's ready to move, he'll give you warning signs before. But once he sees you don't have the power on your own, he will step in and he will orchestrate and demonstrate. And it's going to come in like a whirlwind. And yank you out of that situation at a speed that you can't even comprehend. So before you face that whirlwind, you need to take your power back. What are you explaining to them? that you haven't already explained a million times. I've been there. I explained till I was blue as my shirt. Didn't get it. Didn't care. Didn't empathize. No sympathy, neither. So how insane would that be for me to continue to explain or confront her or let her know I found out what devil you are. I found out how evil you are. I found out you would gaslight me. I found out the term for what's wrong with you. For what? I'm going to still feel the same. I'm not going to feel any better by letting you know, hey, you're a narcissist. Hey, I know what you did. I know who you did it with. What peace is that going to bring you? How close is that going to bring you to healing? Because all it's going to do is spark another argument. Oh, you're a narcissist. You think that's going to be the end of the conversation? What you think they're going to say? They know what the fuck a narcissist is. And they don't like it. That's why a bunch of them lose their shit when you call them that. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to lose their shit and then y'all going to go back and forth and there's two people losing their shit. And from a distance, nobody can tell who is who. So now y'all both look like two narcs arguing, narking it the fuck up. For what? So you can show them? Oh, I got you. I told you. Sometimes you don't have to say a word to tell people stuff, to send a message. The most powerful messages are sent without verbatim. You think I can't do something? I'm not going to tell you, yes, the fuck I can. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you. Oh, you ain't going to be successful. Yes, I am. What did that do? Neither. But you know what does do something? Me getting five hours of sleep a night because I'm grinding. Me in the gym pushing my body until I can barely walk to get those results. Me losing my voice in the studio because I want that sound to sound right. Me making these videos, me putting in the work without saying a word, 
that's going to send a clearer message than me telling you, yes, I can. Sometimes you have to learn how to communicate without saying nothing. You done talked enough. You done yelled enough. You done cried enough. The time for words is over. It's action. When I used to run the streets, the motherfucker that's out there talking the most and, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, whatever, fool. But homeboy that's quiet, and I don't even know how his voice sound. I ain't never seen him before, but he quiet. That's who I'm scared of. That's who I'm worried about. That's who got my anxiety through the roof. And with his actions, no words, I know that might be my problem. That might be the reason I don't make it home. Not Mr. Microphone over here running his mouth. Action speaks louder than words with these folks. Not how much you can say. It's about what you do. Don't tell them you're going to move on. Move on. Don't tell them you're going to be successful after them. Be successful after them. Go to school. Start the business. Go to the gym. Glow up. Level up. Actually do it. Because you can, as you see, you can tell them all you want and they still going to do what the fuck they want to do or believe what they want to do. But guess what? When you start moving and doing, now you have their attention. You don't need to tell them nothing you ain't already told them a thousand fucking times over. Time number 1001 is not going to make a difference. Don't waste your time. You got shit to do. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. If you need a one-on-one -on -one session, the link is in the description. If you want to donate to the channel, the link is also in the description. Make sure y'all go check out my new single, Superstition. It's available here on the channel. Also, the performance video is available here on the channel. And it's also available on all streaming platforms. So y'all make sure y'all go give that a listen and leave me some feedback. Share it with a friend. Send it to somebody. Use it as interest music if you're a wrestler. But y'all make sure y'all understand your ass off their social media. You thought I forgot, didn't you? But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, another day, another way. And you ain't got to listen. But I know you heard me.